Can the Democrats have an impeachment trial against the former president after he has left office and is no longer president? That is the question. It applies particularly to Donald Trump. I've heard legal pundits on cable news say that this is an open or undecided question. They give no satisfactory explanation why it would be an open question. Let's look at the U.S. Constitution for an answer. The U.S. Constitution provides, and I'll quote, The House of Representatives shall have the power of impeachment. That's Article 1, Section 2, Clause 5. The Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments. Article 1, Section 2, Clause 6. The President, the Vice President, and all civil officers shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. That's Article 2, Section 4. Let me repeat that. The President, Vice President, and all civil officers shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of. Removed from office. The words of the Constitution are specific. The President, it does not say the former President. The President shall be removed from office. The Democrats cannot classify a former President as being a current President. Therefore, based on the Constitution's words, there can be no Senate trial for impeachment of a former President. It is that simple. By the time the Senate can act upon the article of impeachment, Trump will be a private citizen, not the President. The impeachment by the House was unwise and a waste of time. If the Senate tries to start a trial, it will be ended quickly. An embarrassment to the Democrats. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.